Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rossi and today we are going to be unboxing my March Boxy Lux, which by the way, it was super late. I have never ever gotten a box this late. It's practically already the end of the month. I know the CEO already explained uh, the reasons why it was delayed, but I really had no interest in watching it. I feel like as long as I get my box, I don't even care. But I am. A, I was a little bit frustrated that it came kind of late because this is the box deluxe. It's the, it's the expensive box, so you would think that they'd be more on top of things. But anyway, as I'd like to say, Better late than never. I finally got my box over the weekend and I'm so excited to open it and share everything that I've got in here with you. I wasn't going to film this unboxing when I saw the spoilers. I kind of had mixed feelings about some products. I definitely want to share why I felt that way towards those products and whether now that I have them here in my hand, will I change my mind? <laughs> so let's get started and open this bad boy up. So the first thing we see here is the card with all the products. This month's theme is La Vie and Rose. I like it. This is almost something that you can frame. <laughs> it's rosy and pink and very springy in my opinion. So good job on that. The first thing that's on top is this little thing. Oh wow, the paper kind of stuck to the bag and I don't know if it's because how it was folded, but it looks like it's a little bit damaged from where it was folded. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. It's really cute. I mean, I guess I don't mind that it was damaged. I mean, what can you do, I guess? But inside it says Boxy Charm, and it looks very, very spacious. Now that I think about it, I don't think I have any like actual makeup bags like this, at least not this big. I do have a black one that my dad just gave to me and I use as a makeup bag. I don't think that's what it's for. It's nice to have one and I like the holographic look to it and that it's like almost rose gold detailing. This one is worth $20 according to BoxyCharm. I would say it feels like a pretty good quality. It has some good padding on the bottom and on the sides. Aside from it being damaged, um, I like it. I think it's nice and pretty and I will definitely put some good use to it because we do plan on traveling. We are not entirely sure where we're going to go first. But I know that we're going to travel or at least take a vacation somewhere, so this is going to come in handy for me. The next product that I see up here is uh, these Lily Lashes. These are limited edition faux mink. I love that it's cruelty free. It says Gaia on both sides, so I assume that that's the style of the lashes. These retail for $24.99. The wing style cruelty free lashes are durable enough to give you up to 20 wears. Ooh. It's no wonder people like Lily Lashes. I mean, if you can wear them for that long, whew, I really like that. I'm still learning how to apply lashes. I don't always wear falsies, but I do love them. I've grown to love them. And so I'm very excited to add Lily Lashes onto my stash. Next product is one that I was actually kind of curious to try. And it's this Wonder Beauty uh, Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. It retails for $34, so yikes, that is expensive. I'm glad that I saw Kathleen Light's video because she also received it in her BoxyCharm. She mentioned that she applied a very thin layer and you have to lay it on thick for the peel off mask to actually come off. Otherwise, it's just going to be super painful. So at least I know how to use it now. I don't believe I've tried any peel off masks. So this will be my first and while I'm terrified, I'm definitely intrigued. <laughs> I know Kathleen experienced uh, some redness on her face after she used this, so I'm hoping that that doesn't happen to me, otherwise I'm probably just going to have to pass it off to my mom and my sister. Next product is this Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love. This one is in Petal. This one retails for $24. It's a moisturizing 8-hour long-wearing silky satin lip color infused with the next generation of hyaluronic acid. Ooh, it feels sturdy. It looks luxe. <laughs> I definitely love that it has like a magnetic closure to it. I love that. It just pops off. So this definitely looks like a mauve shade, probably a little bit darker than the one I'm wearing or lighter. I can't tell. It kind of has a sense of vanilla. I don't know. I'm really excited to try this one as well. I've never used uh, any Becca lipsticks. Next is a product that I'm not entirely sure 
if I want to use. So I don't even know if I should open it for you guys, but it's this uh, Iconic London eyebrow cushion. It's closed, so like I said, I don't know if I want to open it. I'm so torn about this one because I feel like if I don't like it, I would have been right from the start. And I feel like if I don't open it, I could probably give this one away in a giveaway of mine for my blog. I think I'm just gonna put it aside and mull it over in my head for the next couple of days. This next one is pretty heavy and it's this It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream Anti-Aging Moisturizer Perfect for all skin types, even the most sensitive Immerses your skin in moisture, restores visible radiance Reduces the look of pores, discoloration, lines and wrinkles and improves the look of firmness This bad boy retails for $48 First thing I'm seeing here is that it's cruelty free so that is awesome it's heavy <laughs> okay this bad boy is pretty big it has two flowing ounces which i think is pretty good it has a very very mild uh scent which i like i'm gonna try it just a tad bit in the back of my hand and oh my gosh it feels so soft and smooth i really really like how it feels it feels a little bit thicker than other moisturizers so i'm almost thinking whether I'll be able to use this one during the summer if it's this thick, but it's just one of those things that I'll have to try, I guess, as the time comes. If not, then I'll probably be saving it for the winter. Next is this Deborah Lipman O'Donna in Modern Love. Ten active ingredients help deliver health, shine, and long wear to your nails, giving you the effects of gel polish without the damage. <gasps> Ooh, these retail for $20. It says here it's 7 free, which is awesome because I don't really wear nail polish as it is. And I'm looking for other ones that are free of harsh chemicals, basically. Oh my gosh, these things are so cute. So this one is a sparkly nail polish. This one is Odana. It looks pinky mauvey with like gold reflex okay, i see a couple pink and purple ones in there too and then this one just looks like a regular mauvey shade this one definitely looks more pinky than this one and this one is modern love i'm not entirely sure which one i'm gonna like more probably just this one because i tend to go for more uh solid colors than anything but i'm thinking that this one will be good for like an accent nail i don't know but these look really really pretty i Definitely want to see the brush and how it looks because sometimes that makes all the difference. This one just looks like your standard one. It's not shaped any differently than the ones I have. You know, for somebody who doesn't wear nail polish, I'm actually kind of excited about these. Next is this big thing that I'm pulling up here on the side. These uh, Moda brushes, powder, and soft glow. These two retail for $29.99. Yikes. <laughs> I don't know why I always assumed that these ones were more on the cheaper side. So this one is the powder brush and oh boy, it feels so soft. Wow. And this one is the soft glow. Gorgeous. They both feel so soft. This one is definitely much more denser and I feel like I might use it for powder, maybe even for blush. I like to have big fluffy brushes like these for uh, my my blushes this one's much more loose so i definitely think that this one would be more for like highlighting i'm not entirely sure i wonder if it would work probably just the tip of it i'm always so excited to get brushes and subscription boxes that's honestly one of the reasons why i love subscription boxes uh, next is the cover effects perfector face palette this one is in the shade light to medium, which I guess would be perfect for me. I saw a lot of people complaining that they weren't getting their proper uh, shade, I guess. This is one of the products that I wasn't sure about because I don't typically use face palettes like this. However, now that I have it in my hands, <sighs> these shades actually do look really appealing, except for the blush. I never go for rosy shades like that. I just, I don't like them. Pink blushes just don't look good on me, period. This is another product that I have to think about, like really, really think about if I want to keep it because if I do end up keeping it and I don't like it, I'm going to have to give it to my mom and my sister. But if I don't touch it at all and just leave it as is, I can probably put it in my giveaway. I don't know. This is just another product that I have to like really, really sleep on and think about because 
like I said, I don't tend to use uh, face palettes very often. I just don't reach for them often and I tend to forget that I even have them. Some of these shades do look pretty and I love that it has a decent sized mirror which would be perfect for on the go or for traveling. This last product is probably one that you guys have all been waiting for. This is a Morphe palette and I got a 15D Day Slayer. Indulge in infinite eye looks. This mirrored palette features 15 crazy creamy powerfully pigmented shades so you can mix match and blend the rules. This palette retails for $16. I don't own any Morphe palettes because I've always been on the fence about their formulas. What I've been really eyeing is uh, matte formulas and I feel like I've asked so many people if their mattes are worth it and more often than not everybody says no. The one thing that Morphe has going for them is their shimmers I feel like. Even if their formulas are really pigmented, if your mattes are like not good, then like I'm just I'm just not even gonna bother. So I'm definitely excited that I got a Morphe palette because I can finally try their formulas and see for myself whether that's true or not because I know things work differently for other people. But yeah, let's just open up this bad boy so you can see what it looks like. It's very pretty. I love that it has some orangey shades because lately that's just what I've been into. You have some transition shades. You also have some darker ones to create a smoky eye. And I also love the variety in shades for the shimmer ones. So this is probably something that I can definitely work with on a daily basis. And another thing that I love that I haven't seen on any other of their palettes is that these actually have the names underneath them, which is always awesome. It's always a plus. And this one also has a mirror, which is amazing. All right, you guys, we managed to get through all these products. And I have to say, I'm actually quite impressed at the fact that we got 10 products instead of nine. Pretty sure in December we got nine. So it's nice to have gotten 10, even though one of them is a makeup case. I'm totally okay with that. I'm glad that I'm gonna get to try um, a lot of new products, some that I've never tried before, like the Becca, Morphe, the It Cosmetics skincare. The ones that I'm not really sure about is the Cover FX face palette and the Iconic eyebrow cushion. So the sum of all of these products came to 301.98, which is amazing if you ask me. Basically, I just got $250 worth of stuff and I only paid $50 for it. So I always love when that happens and that's one of the reasons why I love BoxyCharm so much. I'm not sponsored, I promise. I just really, really love them. I'm really happy with everything else that I've gotten and I cannot wait to dig into everything. I cannot wait to play with that palette. I had a lot of fun unboxing this and I can't wait to take pictures of it for my blog and I also cannot wait to see uh, June's box. I'm definitely very excited to see how this box grows and yeah, it's just, it's all very very, very exciting for me I feel like this is like the only time I have ever splurged in subscription boxes all right you guys that is all that I have for you thank you guys so much for sticking with me I will see you guys on my next video bye